the last day of riding, and we're starting out from the Gettysburg um, Fire Department. Um, we've got 102 miles to go today, and temperature's supposed to get up to 90 degrees, so it'll be a long day. Um, the great, greatest part is that we're going to start, well, maybe not the greatest part, but we are going to be starting in the, with a tour of the uh, battlefields. Um, which will be quite the experience. Coming up to look around top there. It's amazing how big this battlefield really is. You don't get that sense from the movies. Uh, I would like to thank not only the town, but uh, our mayor, Mr. Chip McCann, who will be speaking in a moment. Chief Tyler of the County Town Police is right here behind me. And his staff, everybody has been splendid. Let me tell you, let, they have been great. What do you need? How can we help? What, what can you do? And I'm sure that some of these guys wouldn't have been working today if it wasn't to come in and help support you and what you're doing. So with that, welcome to Tawny Town. I'd like to turn it over to our mayor, uh, who has a couple of presentations that I think uh, you were deserving of, and I think we'll stand uh, tall in the list of accomplishments and recognition that you've made. And I wish you a, a safe trip the rest of the way. That was Lou Jordan, um, advisory board member. Well, good morning, y'all. It's good to have you in Tawny Town. It's quite a, uh, an event for us to have, uh, be able to host this, and I want to thank Lou for his uh, help in Routing the route to D.C. I'm sure you all noticed that a few miles back you crossed the Mason-Dixon line. I like to say the South begins here, so welcome to the South. <laughs> we, the Mayor and City Council of the City of Tonytown, Maryland, do hereby proclaim this May 21st as Muddy Angels Day. Whereas we recognize the bicycle ride from Bennington, Vermont to Washington, D.C., which honors families of EMS personnel who have become severely ill, injured, or have died due to their involvement in EMS. As mayor of the city of Tony Town, I do here so proclaim on this 21st day of May, 2010, by signature and seal below. Thank you very much. It's <laughs> <laughs> no longer to read. <laughs> Again, a proclamation from the state of Maryland, from the governor of the state of Maryland, the National EMS Memorial Bike Ride Day, May the 21st, 2010. Whereas the 2010 National EMS Memorial Bike Ride honors the emergency medical service personnel by organizing and implementing a long distance cycling event that memorializes and celebrates the lives of those who serve every day, those who have become sick or injured while performing their duties, and those who have died in the line of duty. And whereas the National EMS Memorial Bike Ride supports the National EMS Memorial Service in its tireless efforts to recognize the losses of peers and to their support and gives to the support that it gives their families and the loss of their breath and whereas this is the 2010 National EMS Memorial Bike Ride began May 15th in Maine we travel towards the DC this day May 21st 2010 and travel through Maryland and whereas the group focuses attention on accomplishments of all the EMS and educating the community at large about the needs of the safety standards Whereas, the group promotes healthy lifestyles for EMS providers around physical activity and nutrition, and whereas, all balance of Maryland benefit daily from the knowledge and skills of these highly trained individuals, and whereas, it is appropriate to recognize the valley and the value of the accomplishments of the emergency medical services providers 
designating this day. Now, therefore, I, Martin O'Malley, Governor of the State of Maryland, do hereby proclaim May the 21st, National EMS Memorial Bike Ride Day in Maryland, and do commend the celebration of all our citizens. Sealed and signed by the Governor, Lieutenant Governor, and the Secretary of State. Hey. <laughs> Space Center in front of us, or not the Kennedy, but the Kennedy Center, and then um, that's Watergate. All right, there's the Lincoln Memorial. Okay, there we've got the Washington Monument and then the Lincoln Memorial right next to it. And finally, uh, making it into our final destination at the hotel in Alexandria, Virginia.